Hi, this is JP from Another Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. And this time we are playing the Anmar Awakened campaign quests. And we are starting from the Intruders in Chetwood scenario or quest. And I am playing the Unidine and Elf starters with some modifications in this playthrough. Uh, so let's just first look quickly through the uh, deck lists. I won't go into much detail, but I'll add the deck list into the video description as usual. Okay, and we'll start from the Dunedain deck. So uh, this is the deck list. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, removed all the ends from the deck and uh, replaced the, uh, those cards and some other cards that I felt that weren't performing that well uh, with more Dunedain and uh, some uh, cars from the Gondor set, for example Captain of Gondor, it could be really good on Aragorn or something like that, then Hair of Valandil I added, just to have another way to reduce costs of Dunedain uh, allies that I play. And uh, well, nothing really major changes here, but some cards here and there, but the main deck idea is basically the same as the starter. Uh, next, let's hop over to the Elf's deck. And here is the Elf's deck, and as with the Dunedain deck, no major changes. I basically removed the ends and added some cards from uh, the Elf starter and uh, from other sources. I, I only have the core, the Angmar Awakened player expansion and all of the new starters, so I'm working with those cards. Uh, basically, I added some atlases here if I get some nasty conditions onto my heroes so I can remove them. Then I have uh, some uh, cards like the Galadrim healers, those can act as wielders of the Atlas, etc. So again, not many changes. I, I took the Elrond's councils, which were like a last, last addition to this deck to lower the threat and all that stuff, but basically these are the starters with minor changes. So that is everything I wanted to say about the deck, so let's hop over to the game. Okay, and we are set up, so we have one of the old war parties in play. Uh, we chose two different locations before we uh, start the quest. And we need to reach 13, uh, 30 progress on this quest. And uh, uh, special in this scenario is that force at, uh, at the end of the rest, rest phase raise each player threat by one for each enemy in the staging area. So we want to get rid of the enemies in the staging area and enemies do not make engagement checks so we have to uh, engage them but uh, Halbarad will help in that because we can uh, uh, grab two enemies off from the staging area each round with the Dunedain and the elves will help as uh, they can with that but that is everything so I think that is all I wanted to say before we start, so let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start, so I'll just draw my opening hands. Uh, I opted to take the Dunedain as the first player, so we draw first there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we get Snowborn Scout times two. Born um, Most Bowman, Descendant of Kings, Faint, and Range and Provision. So I will try to fetch the Sword of Gondor with these so I get a good economy going early on. Uh, also, we have the Iarion uh, uh, objective ally in play. So if Iarion leaves play, we lose the game. So we uh, must avoid that at all costs. Okay, let's try again after the mulligan. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we get Honor Guard, Ranger of God, 
uh, Gardalan, Dunedain Hunter, Descendant of Kings, Third of Gondor, and Veteran Axan. So we were able to get that card, which we looked for. So I'll just leave up as the first card. Then the elves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Northern Tracker, Elrond's Council, Protector of Lorien, Silver Harp, Tell of the Innovel, and Elven Light. So I'll keep this hand. This seems like a decent hand to have. So let's start. Uh, we'll go to the resource phase. So I'll draw a card. Better an axe hand. Gain resources. And uh, I'm actually using, uh, as a suggestion, these uh, glass beads as exhaust tokens. So if I put these on, the card is exhausted. So I don't have to turn the cards around all the time. To save some, some time and keep the pay area neat. Then we get the card for the elves. We get the uh, Galadrim Weaver. So uh, this is a pretty decent start. And for both, uh, we'll start the preparation phase with the Dunedain. So we'll play Steward of Gondor. I'll play it on to Amarathul. Oh, yeah, and I am not playing the campaign mode. So Amarathul is amongst the uh, suitable heroes. If you are playing on uh, campaign mode. You can't use Amartul at the start of the campaign, which is a bit dumb, but it is what it is. Mm, I have still have two resources. I think I'll risk it and play Dunedain Hunter. So we'll check five cards here. If we get an orc, we'll put that into play. We'll find an orc, so let's see. On your Nikki enemy and put in the play, engage with you if no enemies in their play, shuffle the well, by this effect, discard Dunedar Hunter, shuffle the Empire deck, so search. And we'll put it into play. Okay. We'll shuffle the encounter deck. And basically now I can use red resources from Immortal because we have an enemy engaged. So just thinking, do I want the Honor Guard immediately? I think I'll play the Honor Guard. And uh, I think that's everything from the Dunedain. We'll go to the Elves and uh, let's see. I'll play the Silver, silver Harp on Elwin. Then I'll play Protector of Lorien on Arwen. Then uh, some choices. Well, I'll just lower my threat and boost Elwin up by one. So we'll reduce three threats from the elves. And that's it. So we'll go to the quest phase. Uh, we'll quest with... Um, Halvorad, so we don't exhaust Halvorad. Then we'll quest with Eowyn and Glorfindel. We'll leave Arwen up just in case. And uh, I think that's everything. So we are questing uh, 6, 8 versus 7, 8, 9. 
So 9 versus 8. So we reveal a couple of cards. Uh, we get an Angmar Marauder. And we get uh, Lost in the Wilderness. When revealed, each player plays all cards in their hand face down under it, Lost in the Wilderness. Post when the Lost in the Wilderness is defeated, return each card underneath to its owner. So this is really annoying. So I'll just put this here and uh, flip these cards over so that that is really punishing so uh three six nine eleven versus two eight nine because we had the elrond's council eleven no, uh, two, seven, ten. So we uh, lo lost by one. So we'll add one threat to the dials. Then we'll uh, travel. Oh yeah, at the beginning of the quest phase. So this guy actually goes up here. So we lost by two more. And that's that's not good. Okay. So 35 and 30, so not, not looking nice. So we'll travel over here. Then uh, these are underneath that uh, quest or side quest. Then we'll go to the engagement uh, or the encounter phase. So we want to engage this orc. We'll engage this orc, and we have to leave that one there. And uh, yeah, we we can't afford grabbing this big boat, so we'll start from here. Uh, we'll deal shadow cards, and this guy hits. I will defend. Uh, it hits for three. I will defend with Amartville. And either exhaust a hero you control or return an attacking enemy to the staging area after this attack. I'll just exhaust Alborad. Then um, this guy attacks, so Arwen will defend. Two. And attacking an enemy gets plus one for each quest card in play, which is two, so we'll take two damage, so that, that's not good. Okay, we'll start fighting back, so I will hit with Aragorn. And uh, Hillary carry on, so we defeat this. We'll grab this. Then I'll hit with this, so we deal one damage over here for next round. And that is everything we can do. So uh, we'll go to the refresh phase, ready up. We uh, raise the threat by two because there's one orc here. So 37, 32. And uh, we passed this here, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and uh, we'll start by getting some resources. And I'll just immediately get resources over here, so I don't have to remember you to use the Steward of Gondor. Okay. Then we get cards, so this won't go underneath this. So we'll get Gandalf. Uh, we, well, we have uh, enough to play Gandalf, so 
that would be actually a maybe a good idea at this moment. Elven light, well that helps. So I'll actually, mm, well I'll heal one of Arwen and uh, I'll discard this to gain a resource. I will use a resource to throw this back into my hand and get a card. And I'll play Galadriel's Handmaiden and I'll lower the threat of the Dunedain by one, so 36. Okay, and uh, then we'll play Gandalf. Three, four, five. We deal uh, four damage on this enemy. So it's easier to defeat. We'll go questing. Uh, I have an enemy, so two from here. Well, we'll do the elves first, so we'll just quest with. Uh, Lorfindel and Elwen and uh, Galadriel's handmaiden. So, and uh, we are trying to defeat this quest now to get our hands back. And I'll actually take a risk and quest with Orwen too. And I'll discard one card to boost Orwen up with the Protector of Lorien. So we are. 3, 7, 10, 11, 13, 15, and uh, against 6, and we need 8. So I'll quest with Fiori on 2, so we are... Mm, Oh yeah, uh, I'll save this card when I discard the Protector of Lorien with the Silver Harp. And I'll use it to uh, discard it with the uh, Airwine's ability. So we have uh, 3, 8, 12, 14, uh, 16, 18, 18 against 6. Uh, reveal one encounter card for each quest card in play. So we get plus two, so eight against eighteen. And uh, okay, and this was still here. So I'll reveal another encounter card. And it is uh, outlying homestead, so plus two and then we get one for here this is an all war party okay not looking good so six nine eleven thirteen fifteen against eighteen well that sucks so Uh, we don't even advance this all the way, which is annoying because we really need to get rid of this lost in the wild wilderness. But it is what it is, so uh, we'll start engaging. So I'll just engage this war party and this one, and nothing with the elves, we can't afford it. Then uh, we will defend against the war party, and it hits for six. And uh, just defend with the honor guard. And against this one, just let it come through, and let that come through. And hope for the best. So. See if this is a really short game, but yeah. 
We'll start from here. So this was against uh, nothing. So no shadow effect. Deals two damage. Just take it here. This one against the honor guard. No shadow effect. The honor guard is defeated or destroyed. Then this one. Attacking enemy gets plus one for each ally you control, so... Yeah. Well, mm, that is unfortunate because that will be three and that will kill off a hero, so... That sucks, and I think this game is already over, but we'll play through. So this um, uh, Halbarad goes to the uh, discard pile. Mm. Mm, then we'll hit back. So Aragorn... Well, Gandalf will hit this one. We defeat that one. Uh, Aragorn will hit this one. Yeah, it's, it's dead. And these two will hit that one. So that is dead. So uh, we managed to kill off these three orcs, but those orcs managed to kill one of our allies. Gandalf goes away. And uh, yeah. Well, let's go to the rest press phase. So there's still one orc in the uh, staging area, so we'll add one extra threat. So 38 and 34 uh, ready up. And uh, that is it. So that is that round. Oh, yeah, this goes here. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, this round we'll do our best to uh, survive. Uh, so I'll add immediately three with the steward here, one on the tree here, one here, and into the else. So cards, mm, unexpected courage, and ranger summons. Okay. We'll play the ranger summons. Goes out of the game. Shuffle this ranger of the north to the counter deck. Then We'll uh, play. I will heal one damage off of Aragorn. Then we'll play Unexpected Courage. Uh, no, we'll discard a card to gain a resource. Then we'll play the Unexpected Courage. That is it. Oh yeah, and we used Silver Hop to not discard. Then I'll play this for my discard. Draw Elven Jeweler. Doesn't help us that much. And uh, yeah, let's go questing. Again, we'll try to do the Lost in the Wilderness. So, um, I'll quest with Timorion, Aragorn, and uh, then we'll do the elves. So, all these will quest and we'll discard one for Protector of Lorien. Or oh, let's just first look. We draw. We are uh, two, four.
7, 10, 14, 16 against. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 10. So 14 against 7, so pretty bad. But yeah, it is what it is, so. We'll get some cards, so we have another Orc War Party. And Orc Marauder. So, pretty much him over here. So, 14 against 5, 10, 16. So, we'll add 2 threat over here, 40 and 36. And no progress. We we'll go to the encounter phase. Uh, we'll grab this with the elves, this with the Dunedain. And uh, that is it. We'll start from here. I'll uh, use the unexpected door, it's already open. We'll watch this first, nothing. So, three against two, so we'll take one damage. And uh, yeah, we'll exhaust to defend. Then here I uh, will defend with this Dunedain Hunter. No shadow effect, but the Dunedain Hunter is defeated. Then, uh, mm, well, we'll hit one damage here. And that's everything we can do. So uh, we'll go to repress phase. So there's still one orc in the display. So. 42, 38, and we ready up and change this to the elves. So elves are the starting, uh, the first player next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we'll get resources. Just three here, one here. And one to each of these. And I'll immediately heal one, so I won't forget. And we draw cards. Unexpected Courage and Honor Guard. We play Honor Guard. Let's play it over from these resources. Uh, we'll actually... Discard these two to play Elven Jeweler, and I will stop myself from discarding the Unexpected Courage. Then I will play the Unexpected Courage. And I'll... Well, that's everything. We'll go to Questing. Uh, we'll quest with oh yeah the Arian and all of these so we have two and we'll try to beat the quest again so two five uh, nine twelve fourteen fifteen against ten 12, 15, so it is uh, a tie, so nothing happens. Oh yeah, actually, if there, if the current quest is a side quest, it gets plus 2, so we actually lost by 4. So, 46. Forty-two. So... We are threatening out fast, but nothing we can do. Uh, engagements. No engagements, because we will die. I'll use the unexpected courage just ready out of these. We'll just have to deal with that enemy. Here I will defend with the honor guard. Here I will defend with Arwen. And uh, 
will go uh, here first. Shadow cards, first shadow card. This card one attachment you control for each quest card in play. Okay, well there goes Protector of Lorien and the other management village. But we only take one damage. Still alive. Then here. Mm, Attacking enemy gets plus one fight, return attacking enemy in the staging area after this attack. Well, yeah, we are threatening out on this round. So, we are hitting back with uh, Glorfindel. Deal only one damage onto this orc. This can't hit. So, big, big whoop over there. But, yeah, let's see. <clears throat> I think I'll just. Uh, Lose this game and call it a day, but let's see, so uh, we'll uh, refresh. Then uh, we'll shift this. Then uh, we get one threat plus one, two, three, so four. So the Dunadine are out and the elves are one away are actually four away from getting threaded out, but I'll call it here because there's no way to survive next round, only the elves, so um, uh, this scenario is beatable with these decks, I have done it, but this time we just got overrun, we didn't get the setup done quick enough, and this lost in the wilderness basically neutered our hand, so we couldn't play our um, uh, our uh, fighting allies to defeat all the orcs, uh, even though we had plenty of resources to play them, then also we couldn't get these cards into play. So, unfortunately, this game is brutal when you get uh, steamrolled by the encounter deck, which happened this time. Uh, we lost the Alparad crew early, and uh, that is it. So, uh, still hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.